my lovely Aries. This is your January 2020 love reading. I was in the midst of doing it and my storage filled. So these are the cards that I have already pulled when I thought I was recording. So let's get started. So this first row is you. Now in this situation, you are doing lots of love communication. You are coming forth as the page of cups. Excuse me. <clears throat> and I feel that there's some internal struggle within you because you feel like this is not going as fast as you had hoped. Now the second row is this person is feeling like, yeah, there's some possibilities here. I can see it. Definitely. Ten of Cups. Love. Fulfillment. Happy home. Happy life. Children in the background. But I feel like they're coming out of something. Um, a difficult situation. It's like they walked away from someone fairly recently and they're still waiting for their ships to come in and you're like duh I'm right here I'm right here hello but they can't necessarily see it quite yet because they're, they're doing some healing they're still letting go and they are coming in as the king of wands but they're contemplating just like they were in this card contemplating Now, I feel like you think that there is some things that are being held back from you. And indeed, I think you are. And what it is, is they're feeling the same way. They're just a little confused. But they are feeling the same way. So that's a good sign. Now, this next one is the Wheel of Fortune. So it is coming towards you. You're just going to have to be patient. All right, Aries. And there is a little bit of a stalemate going on when you're like, okay, you know, I've got my hands crossed over my heart. So do they. You're like, is this a lost cause? I don't know. I think I'm feeling like you're just going to have to give them a little more time with this ending that they're going through. You know, even though it might be a while ago that this happened, they still need to do some healing. And of course, you coming into their life is the impetus to get this going. You know, they can ignore it when they're by themselves, right? Because they're like, la, 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 everything's perfect. You know, I'm out of this relationship. So let's see. I feel like the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups is pretty clear. Now, let's look into this Five of Wands, this internal struggle of yours, and get a little bit more clarification. Why is this on her spread? Why is this on their spread? Why is this on his spread? Whomever it applies to. Why is this on the spread? Because you can tell they're walking away from something. You might even be walking away from something. But you're so razor focused on this person that you're like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. They need more time. And quite possibly spirit's telling you that maybe you need more time to reflect on the past and do whatever healing you need to do. So when they are ready and they come forward, you will be clear of all of the baggage that you carried from other relationships. All right. Let's see. Let's get some clarification on this Ten of Cups for them. Yeah. They need some meditation time. They need some downtime, some alone time. Because they know it's there. They just can't see the forest through the trees. And with this um, King of Wands, they always pop out before I can even <laughs> ask the question came the world they can offer you the world you just need to give them time 
And then the Three of Wands. Why is this? Oh, not already. The Knight of Pentacles. So they're going to come in, but they're going to come in slowly for you. And that's where the stalemate, the, the trepidation on your part's coming in. Give them time. They're coming in. They're just doing it at a, a snail's pace. Yippee! Don't you love that? Not really. But, like I said, it'll give you time to start doing your own, you know, reflection, walking away from things, clearing things up, cleaning things up internally and externally. So if you can get ready for this, there might be a possibility here. So the moon, why is the moon here? Because you want to come in with the solid offer and so do they, but they're scared to let you know this because they're not ready. They want this to be collaborative. They want this to be profitable and beneficial for both of you. They just need more time. It's a theme of this, this whole spread, isn't it? They need more time and by proxy, you get to have more time to get yourself ready. The Wheel of Fortune. What is the Wheel of Fortune doing on this spread? Patience. The Gardener card. You can't force a garden to grow. It takes time. Why is the Two of Swords on this spread? <laughs> because this is the possibility. Patience, 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 my friend. Patience, patience. All right. This is pretty darn clear to me. <laughs> this whole spread is about give me some time. Let me breathe. I want to be cooperative with you. I want to create something with you. Just be patient. Because this is what will come of it. Equal give and take. The lover's card. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this resonated with you. And I hope that this gives you the clarity to know that hard work and patience pays off. All right. Love you guys. Thank you. Happy New Year.